Infrastructure development is key towards galvanizing resources for economic development. Well, former President Lucia Guabasanjo said this in Sokoto during his one-day working visit to the state where he laid the foundation stone for the construction of a 3.4 billion naira nine-span flyover in Sokoto metropolis. We have details in this report. Infrastructure development is crucial to the attainment of economic growth and development in Nigeria. It is also important in facilitating the realization of economic diversification plan of the Buhari administration. Lack of adequate fiscal revenue to drive infrastructure development has left the Nigerian economy grossly in deficit in this area. Nigerian infrastructure deficit is estimated at $100 billion annually. This is projected at about 190% above the 2021 federal budget estimated at $34.51 billion. Hello. 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 In Sokoto, former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo, while laying the foundation stone of a nine-span flyover bridge at the metropolis says, Road infrastructure is strategic in galvanizing the nation's resources toward the attainment of economic growth and development. Infrastructure, particularly land transportation, is very, very vital for all aspects of successful human endeavor in any economy. Also speaking at the event, Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambual says transport infrastructure are the veins through which all activities for socio-economic transformation of the society's flows. Four construction firms are awarded the projects and the total cost of these projects is 10 billion, 943 million the former president also supervised other ongoing projects in the state covering the health sector, education and sports. <laughs> president Obasanjo was earlier at the Sultan's Palace. To reach out to everybody, to hold on to the truth of our major religions. Because we believe if we do hold on to the truth and hold on to our religious teachings, either as a Christian or as a Muslim, Nigeria will be the better for it. President Obasanjo refused to respond to questions on the ongoing agitations for secession in different parts of the country and claims he is not aware of any agitation. 